I decided to paint my grandmother after, soon after she passed away. I was 16 when she passed away. I did a big painting of her on a queen size bed sheet and I did this when I was studying at Carnegie Mellon one summer. Um, and I was studying with a teacher who really affected me and really forced me to look within myself to paint something that had real meaning to me. And it was at this point that I really reflected on my relationship with my grandmother and also feeling a lot of sadness and regret for the things I wish I would have asked her. And I wanted to do something for her. And this was a painting called My Booba's Garden, which is a painting of her or my impression of her in a way and her experience in it. Uh, being a survivor and being in camps and beneath her body I painted a garden for her and that was my gift to her. The project developed in response to many different things. Initially it was my grandmother passing away and I needed to paint that painting for her. And then I took a trip called the March of the Living where you actually go to the concentration camps for a week and then you go to Israel for another week. And I was so affected by the trip that I was consumed with finding images uh, of the Holocaust and of victims, of survivors, and I would sketch constantly. I remember I was watching um, Schindler's List and I would freeze different frames and do sketches from the, from the frames as well. When I painted my grandmother's portrait and, um, and my grandfather's portrait, I, about my grandmother, I, when I painted her portrait, I tried to capture, she was a very serious woman and and very sad also and my goal in painting her portrait was to really bring that out before we got started i want to tell you why i got involved in the project and you can yes see how this I came had about asked you what time yeah yeah so I'm, I'm involved in this because both of my grandparents are Holocaust survivors or were Holocaust survivors. Where were they from? Poland. I see. So for me, as the granddaughter of survivors, I am their voice and will be the voice for the next generation and the legacy of survivors. And that's why I got involved in this. Were project. your grandparents ever in the camp? Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's I'm, I'm a survivor too, but I didn't experience the camps. Uh, we were lucky to be Italian citizens, and so the Germans uh, respected the wishes of the Italian government and did not send us to Auschwitz. So I suppose I owe my life and what I'm doing right now to the Italian government. That's nice. For this project in particular, I'm working from photographs. Um, and I do this because to paint each portrait takes me eight to 10 hours and it's difficult to ask someone to break away from their day and sit, sit for you for eight to 10 hours while you're painting them. When I'm painting, I like to listen to, um, specifically for this project, I've been listening to a lot of klezmer music. Um, and some, uh, and, and also the soundtrack from Schindler's List. I find it helpful to listen to music because it really creates an environment for myself that I can paint in and really immerse myself completely in the project, in the, in the portrait, um, and it, it, um, it all just comes together for me.
Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. My goodness, that is absolutely beautiful. That's not me though. <laughs> oh my God, isn't that beautiful? And the blouse looks so pretty. And my makeup shows yes. good. <laughs> I think, I think you, you made me look younger, but it's okay, <laughs> I don't mind. That is beautiful. Nava is really fantastic. It's, I didn't know that I would be immortalized in a portrait, never hoped to see myself in a portrait. And here is Rosa alive. Thank you so very much. It is wonderful to look at it and to think that it's, well, it's even more strange that this happened because of the Holocaust, which wasn't a thing that would normally lead to happy endings. But this does, because first of all, I survived. And secondly, I have this now. Have to find a place for it. Well, Nava, you did a fantastic job with this painting. As I said before, you make me look younger, which at 80 years of age, I appreciate. And it's absolutely beautiful. And I think it does reflect me. It's pensive, as I said, but it's, uh, it's also very quiet, very tranquil vision, uh, well, view of me. And I think the fact that you made me wear the earrings, I love it because I never really wear any. And I'm sure that this is going to be the centerpiece of any decoration that we have in our home. Well, I say our, because my husband would have liked to see it too. And I have to thank you for making me famous, <laughs> or even infamous if you want. And it has brought me jobs. If I were paid for all these jobs, I'd be a millionaire now. <laughs> so it made my life much more interesting. And I never thought that somebody would like to immortalize me. I never considered myself a very important person. But this is absolutely gorgeous. And I have to thank quite a few people for it, beginning with Nava, who made the portrait. And it's been the beginning of interesting things to do in my uh, kind of, not monotonous, but quiet life after retirement. So I have to thank you, Nava, and I have to thank everybody else who contributed to the enterprise. Thank you. <laughs>